This is smithy.tv. Hi, how are you? I'm pretty good. I'm Ron Goldher. I'm Lindsay Lewis. And this is our test show. This is the test show. Um, it's uh, exciting. I've never actually been in this room until today until we uh, to see the new look. Uh, um, and it's strange because we can start switching buttons and stuff, but in fact I can't because there's no operator at the moment. So it's just the two of us talking uh, Ron, and having a good time. Uh, how many hours did it take you to, to do this room here? Well, uh, when I so I moved to the building in October, so it's been almost a year, so eleven months, and then uh, it took a long time to sort of just get to the point where we knew we were ready to go. So at the beginning of August, so right now it's what September thirteenth, September fourteenth, fourteenth, incorrect. Oh, Friday the fourteenth. Yeah, uh, not as scary as the thirteenth. I did get splashed with the water coming here, so I so think it was a it's bit just of suckier than the. Yeah, 13th. it's just a. Sh- can you swear on this program? Sure, why not? A shit storm internet. of rain. A shit storm of rain. That's good. Yeah. Uh, so the beginning of August. So second week of August, and it took three weeks to build the room. Yeah. Uh, and that, that goes from, it was a room full of like shelving units mm-hmm. covered in uh, video cassettes and uh, betas and or three quarter. Like no, that. people's demo reels. Demo reels? Yeah. Uh, but... but I mean, outdated. Think of it. Do you this ever way. get requests for those demo reels still on VHS? If they haven't been digitized by now, we're in trouble. Yeah, that's really what it came down to. Is most of the time when we're offering to send someone's demo reel anyway, we're sending it via, via email. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so yeah, email. so fourteen uh, took three weeks. It took three weeks to build the room, and that included you know coats of paint and then cleaning it up and making sure everything was in good shape and uh, building this table. It was built from scratch, shaped like our TV. Uh, the producer's booth, uh, getting the right, uh, finding chroma key green, uh, which is not easily accessible <laughs> when you're looking for a can of paint, but you know, it's, it's available. And, uh, and then, uh, they built some shelves. It, it shouldn't feel like it takes a long time. And it isn't, it was, it was not a lot of hard work, but it was hard work. Did you, how did you get people to help you? Was it like bribery or did like, do you No, uh, uh my them? brother-in-law is a contractor okay. and, and, uh, and I, he was contracted. Do you want to promote him since he helped? So uh, Cherry Hill Design, that's a good idea. Thank you. Cherry Hill Design uh, here in Toronto. Uh, you can get them at cherryhilldesign.ca. Uh, if I'm wrong, well, then you're going to be going to probably some porn. We can type it at the bottom of the screen. Yeah, too. right now, when you're looking so at the it screen, it says this is the real address <laughs> of whatever we're talking about. Or he's, they don't know what they're talking about. It was correct. That's right. And whatever is the real one is the one you're reading and the one we're saying. So when you're going to rogers.ca, no. Um, so I think a big question for anyone maybe watching right now, if they're watching, if this ever makes it to the air. Of course it will, because why would What I... is TV Smithy? Smithy, Smithy dot TV. Dot TV. I thought it was dot com, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I apologize. Well, I mean, at any point it could have been Smithy TV dot com, but yeah. it's Smithy oh. dot TV. Um, so let's go through, what is that? So I mean, I'm going to put my watch down because I'm, I'm fiddling. I'm, I'm, uh, nervous habit. I'm not even nervous. That's the thing. I'm used to talking in front of a mic and it's, it's been a while. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's the room, you know, it's fresh paint, you know, you're, maybe you're worried about getting paint on it. I yeah, don't know. That's good. Uh, Excuse what is smithy.tv? Smithy TV is, uh, this is a channel that's going to promote, uh, shows, whether they're interviews or Urban bits. talent. What's that? Urban talent. Urban talent. Like that's a good word. Is that uh, is that a, der- a derogatory term or just urban as in Toronto? Like urban local, city, you know, like uh, you know, like I, street. I, I I come from like. You're I, urban, is what you're saying. I I like to think so. Yes. I think I think that uh, that you can pull it off. You shave, and suddenly you're like yeah. uh, a whole other demographic. I uh, even if I have a beard, I don't look old. No, no, no. Right now, you're you're aiming at the uh, the Breaking Bad crowd, but the moment you shave, you're looking at really what's a poor dog. Yeah, <laughs> it's a poor dog. Say by the bell. If it was still on. Uh, so, you know, uh, so other than Nervous Habits and all that, uh, so yeah, what is... So Smithy TV, so we're going to be promoting all of these shows, and you're right, urban is a good word for it, because we're getting really good, amazing local talent to Toronto, but it doesn't mean that we're, li- we're limited to uh, the Canadian market, we're the internet, the internet means everywhere, uh, and so, you know, we're, it's uh, like shows like Cast This, which was, uh, so James Scott and I did a show uh, for the longest time, and it was interviewing actors and people who just were, were talking about, you know, what it took to get that first job, and, yeah. and the and the regular and the regular you know grind of being an actor, or other perspectives of the same industry. Talking to casting directors, I talked to an agent, uh, namely my father. Yeah, uh, but Pops. that doesn't mean that uh, we're limited to other people. 
Call us at the number below. There's no number. If you, uh, uh, if you need help or if you're on the wrong website, we can try to direct you to the right website. That's right. We'll direct you to a website or a phone number. Usually uh, it's neither might work. It might address. just be an email address. Whatever we're talking about right now, the correct thing is what was here or is here. I hope they're cool fonts. Possibly fa- what, flashing. What, what kind of font is it? Like, uh, I'm a big fan of Courier just because it makes me feel like I'm writing a script. Oh, fair enough. No, but it could be like that old school 70s, 70s. kind of like, you know, covered in like light. So it's got like the yeah. blinking lights around it. Uh, almost like a graphic from like SETV. Yeah. They're like, check it out. It's like, yeah, the awards are, it's so distracting. You can't get anything from it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a showcase this way. It does showcase other shows. Uh, the Mind Reels is another show. In fact, we recorded our first two episodes yesterday. Whenever this airs, uh, yesterday could have been last week or the week before for all you know. Uh, and, uh, and the Mind Reels... most likely a Wednesday. I usually check my videos out on Wednesday. That's and, nice. Because Tuesday is new, uh, new CD day. Right. Well, uh, Wednesdays Friday is when new the... comics come out. Really? Yeah. I am not a comic, avid comic. Well, that might be a show, too, for all we know, comics. Avid comic book readers? That's right. Versus anti I'm not anti. Well, you can't be anti-comic. That means that you're anti-reading. Yeah, that's true. Like, what are you, against pictures? Woo! No more Playboy for you! You know, they, it's about the story, not about the pictures. Yeah, that's, that's right. That's what they say. You like jugs. Yeah. <laughs> who, who, who doesn't? Who doesn't? <laughs> like, you know. It's true. Um, yeah, so it's a showcase of... Uh, you were talking about the Minds Reels. Yeah, so the Mind Reels, uh, Tim Rideout, Sue Maynard. So they, uh, they've they been hosting shows now for a while, and, and they, they've had some great interviews uh, with people from Lost Girl and mm. Bomb Girls. Uh, they're starting out with people from Haven. I think they talked with someone from uh, Continuum. So a lot of great production that had, takes place here, but also, uh, you know, it can be over the phone. So, I mean, that's the neat thing is that we're, yes, we're connected to anywhere. Potentially uh, even Skype. Oh, they, you know, they, they're, they they're also, Skype? Conven- yeah, Skype is good. Skype, uh, down. They're also convention on. jumpers, so they also will get, like, the interviews on sets for... Yeah, no, that's great. Uh, that's exciting. You know, so. uh, people who are promoting new shows or, you know, from the past. I mean, either way, they're fun interviews because mm-hmm. you get people who are, they really, they really do appreciate what they're watching. And it's, and it's a great comfort to finally get, you know, like, to get a nice interview from someone who actually appreciates... Yeah. what you're doing instead of someone who wants to rip something apart. And not saying that we don't like ripping things apart. It's it is the, the internet. It's the easiest thing to do. It's, in fact, the one thing that the internet was made for besides porn. And, like, uh, I really do like it, like the on-set stuff because you get to... It's just like this room and, like, talking to the local talent and all that. You get a chance to see even more that you might not, you know. You yeah. get to see the magic. And But I, my worry is if I went on set, they'd be like, who is this young child? And I would just probably claim that I'm the director's son and then have to back it up. Uh, or, yeah, you know. So, so yeah, so it's like, it's exciting. So it's like cool to see people who are excited about it, you know? Yeah, no, it's a chance to, to go on set. And, and I've been talking to a few other people, so I know that there are shows coming up uh, that, uh, that we're ready to promote soon, but, uh, but we're really excited about having this space and about uh, getting people to, to watch it. Uh, realistic question for people out there, especially myself, uh, would this make a good bomb shelter or if there's a tornado or something, am I safe? There's a possibility that you could have a bomb shelter at that wall over there. And when you're sitting in the chair, you might actually look like you're in a bomb shelter. Yes. And that also the said, cameras there, they do look like they've said. Could that. this work as a bomb shelter? No. You Maybe. never know. You, you, ne- never, you say never, never know. Never, never say never. But that. it's not like it's like Night of the Comet where they're in like a lead-lined projection box and they wake up and the rest of the world's been destroyed by Halley's Comet and, uh, you know, and they turn into zombies, whoever's left. And then, you know, the normals were not covered by whatever was floating in the universe. Uh, this building is not like that. There's brick, yes, yes. and it's pretty, yes. Maybe not but, enough. <laughs> but not enough lining. I think that, you know, whatever happens is, is going to take us out. Um, so let's uh, let's talk about since we use the word urban. Uh, uh, do you know where I can get good drugs or anything to buy on the street? Well, we are in the heart of Toronto. The heart of Toronto. So I bet. Which, the speaking of the heart of Toronto, I'm glad you did this. Is uh, recently there was a film fest. Did you get a chance to go there? I did. I saw quite a few shows, in fact, uh, and I and mostly I focused on now Toronto International Film Festival showcases world film. Not yeah. just, of course, Canadian film, but you know there is a great Canadian showcase. Like Chilean films, Chilean, well, big American films that uh, that are going for Oscar buzz, and that I mean, yes. it is a great opportunity for them to promote that show, that that kind of show. Mm. Uh, I did go specifically to see shows, uh, Canadian, Canadian content. features, content, uh, people that we have clients in, and. Um, 
there's really good, really funny shows. It's things that made you realize that going to the movies is not about, you know, it's like, uh, it's a Canadian country. It's like, oh, they got cancer. Oh, it's like, you know, it's like, oh, someone's beating their, their wife and child. And, and it's like, it doesn't have to be depressing anymore. Yeah. There's actually good content that's commercially viable. That, and that's yes, it takes place it. in Toronto or Alberta or Northwest Territories or mm-hmm. wherever it is, uh, or Newfoundland. Uh, it's funny. It's relatable. You know, it's, it's great. Uh, so shows like... Uh, um, Picture Day. Picture, yes. That uh, King Melville's Picture Day that stars uh, Tatiana Maslany. Tiff or, Rising Star this exactly. year. Exactly. Or uh, Jonas Chernick's My Awkward Sexual Adventure he wrote and stars in and is, is just spectacular. Yeah. Uh, but I won't talk about other shows like Lesser Blessed because that'll get focused on a show like The Mind Reels. It's probably... It might more, already be on one above, of the, depending the, where the links over here on the side of this page. And to anyone who is blind, uh, you know, um, it's... Have someone else direct <laughs> you to that place. Uh, um, and, and then I'm sure you can still find out about... Because the they're available uh, in audio on iTunes. Podcasts. Uh, through Sneaky.tv. We somehow find a way to do segues without knowing we're about to do it. Well, we like to promote as much as we can, and the whole purpose of a channel like this, of course, is all of the shows here are to promote each other. Yes. Uh, we're a community, and uh, it's only you know better for all of us. Uh, I mean, obviously, it would help that we all like each other, yeah. but but we do. I mean, they're 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 really uh, they're really interesting and fun and different. Each show is different. Until you do an elimination round or battle royale, I think we all like each other. Oh, I like That's that too. It. Yeah, it's just like I mean, if like during sweet sweet. But sweet, I wouldn't be when sweet, sweet battle royale. Week, I'm too old. It's February or March sweet week. Uh, well, there's multiple sweeps, sweeps, right? Because you got like fall sweeps, yeah. and May sweeps, and like. And you get the breaks at Christmas, so obviously the shows are off the air. And so, so fall. This is fall right now. So when? How many more weeks do we have till sweeps week? They have to start. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, okay. At some point, we're gonna find a cool theme. So if you have like ideas, all the all the new TVs is is starting this week. Actually, I'll probably do another show in the next few days and talk a about my... guideline of Ryan Goldhart. Oh my does girl, schedule. TV. Oh. Uh, what? Uh, what's your favorite show of all time? Of all time, to oh. the people who might have wanted to know that that's 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 a that's a hard question because third, or third favorite show my of, third favorite show of all time of two thousand seven. Well, now you're dating me five. So years. I would go with the favorite show because that's probably sure. Easier. Um, was Studio sixty two thousand seven? No, oh, that's a good show. That was I, think I like the Aaron Sorkin stuff, and I'm really a good fan. I love Newsroom. Like I've seen the first three, and I'm excited to see the rest. Uh, he does such a terrific job. You know what? Uh, these days, I'm actually kind of... I'd, I'd say that uh, 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 Game of Thrones. I've heard nothing but one. Game of Thrones things. has been spectacular, and uh, and I'm really excited for the next season. I hear there's every like a little bit of something for everybody there. There yeah. is. Uh, there's action, there's adventure, medieval moves. porn. There's medieval sword yeah. fighting. Uh, there's some, uh, you know, like some fantasy elements, including some dragons. I really don't think it's a spoiler if you're already two years behind in the show. I'm about uh, to be spoiled. You, you, I, you're going to be spoiled by just watching it. I, to, to, yeah, it, by riches. That's right. Uh, I have been spoiled about the first season, but I haven't even seen it. But uh, uh, I still plan to I'm watch a big it. Madman fan, but at the same time, I... I, I didn't rush through the last season. I mean, I, the first the first few got me like I was like oh, I couldn't wait to watch the next one. You're like an addict, and I still like the show, but I, I've taken my time because there's so much TV, there's so much television I like watching, and my schedule has like 40 shows deep this year. That's too many, and 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 that doesn't even include like all of the you know factual television, like all the cooking shows, news, baseball. Well, news not so much. Baseball I do mostly live. Football. I watch yes, a lot of football, so up. Sunday screws me too because then you've got. So let's let's talk about this because I this is obviously well, a weird thing, and we'll get back to yeah, what you're about to say. Is I've always thought it was interesting to find out what everyone's favorite team is in sports. Okay, and I know what your favorite team is and why. And mine is sort of a similar thing because uh, my favorite NFL team is uh, is the Miami Dolphins because of the movie Ace Ventura. That's and right. Your favorite team is the New York Jets because of which movie? Flash Gordon in 1980 with uh, Max von Sydow and Sam Jones. I always thought it was Sidon, Max von Sydow until Sido? Like, last oh, yeah, year. Yeah. I just, Sido, just Sido. said it wrong. But uh, that's a good question. Anyone watching right and now? And focused is, in the movie Ted. Yeah, you know it is, and <laughs> it was pretty comical too. Um, but if anyone, if tell us your favorite team, and if there's a reason because of a movie, that'd be cool to hear from other people. And, uh, and you can send an email to us right here. Type there. 
type there. What's the, what uh, we and tell us what your favorite uh, what, movie what, what is. What are we we'll, typing? How do we get in contact? And then the next time we're here, we'll talk about, you know, when or tweet it. Yes. And tweet it to at TV Smithy. The ad sign, I can't really... Maybe remember. this show will have another title, and then you'll say that. Those guys. The those show might guys. be called Those Guys. Those Guys. Those Guys, get off my screen. Or so those tweet guys, to that, them. and uh, and we'll and we'll talk about what your favorite sports and why you're a fan of that. Because, I mean, it could be because you're from there, and obviously, like, we're from Toronto, and... Ottawa. Well, you're Ottawa, but, you know, so somehow he has this... Capital. Sick reason to be an Ottawa Senators fan. It's it's better that than uh, Calgary Flames or Toronto Maple Leafs fan. Uh, I disagree. Uh, you could be a Toronto fan, uh, but were you alive when Ottawa came to being? Yes. The the new Ottawa. You were born in the eighties. Yes. So you were alive when Ottawa became a team. But did, were you a fan of any hockey team before Ottawa became a team? Um, I'd watch teams, but no one like it was more like you would. I was more, you'd find a team in the playoffs, just like, just you know, to follow. a young kid. For so. instance, like, I have close friends from Ottawa because I went to school there. Yes. And uh, them growing up, uh, they growing up would be fans of either Montreal, mm-hmm. Toronto, or Boston because they're all proximity teams. Uh, no one seemed to favor the Rangers in any way, even though they're also sort of close by. Yeah. So. I like, I like the Rangers and, and the New Jersey Devils overall. Like, I don't know why. But I'm fans. also a New Jersey yes. fan. But that's a whole other story. I've been a New Jersey fan since they were New Jersey. Yes. Uh, I, I think you find reasons when you start watching, you know, like, wh- like it's it's easier for me like a team like San Jose or Ottawa because like technically I didn't see the, the original Ottawa but like the new Ottawa there was a chance to see it from scratch right uh, and same with like the Raptors or even the Vancouver Grizzlies anyone <laughs> remember them they were like what was it three seasons two seasons uh, what are they four seasons in a movie no no yeah <laughs> I think that's community two men and a baby or sorry it's three men and a little baby and a little lady. And a little lady. It was a baby and then a lady. Lady, And I think that baby. I hear now the next one, if they're making it, is three men and a bride. Because she's getting married. Spoiler. Sure. And they're, and they're getting ready for the grave. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Some of them already hit that with their careers. No offense. <laughs> Ooh, uh, no, but I, I, I like being a part of, like, I remember when the Sens came and, like, the San Jose Sharks and those are the teams that are sure. actually like. Tampa Bay was in the same two years and uh, and who else was there? Was it just Tampa the was Florida. I oh, and it was the like Florida 90. Panthers. That's right. So it was 91 and 92 with the three, you know, was, was sort of those years of the of the last expansion. And uh, speaking of Canadian teams, I, th- I thought it was really funny. The year after the Quebec Nordiques were no more, the team that replaced it won the Stanley Cup. That is correct. And it's the team I hate. I think I hate even more than Toronto. The Colorado Rockies. Yeah, or the Colorado Avalanche. Avalanche. I was a Rockies fan, which is why I'm a New Jersey fan. Yeah. I have an old uh, Colorado jersey. Uh, and uh, and then I became a fan of the New Jersey Devils in 82, 83. And uh, it was awesome. I just, I don't want to alienate people. I just, those are the two teams I don't like. And I I'm also a Mets it. fan for baseball. So you can pick, is that your team though? The That's my team. Like I, I'm Mets? a Mets? Why rock. did you pick the Mets? Because, like, most people, well, if they think New York, they go, I go on the Yankees. Sure, but, I mean, I'm, I'm raised in Toronto. I have season tickets with my family, and I yeah. get to go to a lot of baseball games. So, as an American League fan, I'm a Toronto fan. Yeah, I would hope so. But at the time, as a kid, the Mets were a winning team, and that led up to, of course, that 86 World Series that they won. And, of course, they're known as the bad guys, <laughs> and, and they were not, you know... You know the best for people to follow as a as a as a, as a role models, but they were winning. And winning is all that matters. Sometimes. Winning is, I mean, when you're kids, I mean, what's the biggest influence? Teams that are good. Teams that are good, or you know, a poster boy. Or, That's right. So I became a Mets fan because of that, and they had great players and and uh, and you know. I think uh, growing up, like obviously Toronto and Montreal, because they're the two sure. Canadian teams, and like Montreal, their logo first off was a cool. I love their logo, but I like you're talking about the Expos. Yeah, Montreal yeah. Expos. I never got the logo how it translated exactly. I Until you recognized that it was an M for Montreal, but it was sort of weird looking. Yeah, it just like it looks like just like this swirl thing. But uh, possibly graphic here, but not necessarily. Poo. Poo. Um, or it's a Blue Jays. It's just a random team. They're like the Minnesota Wild. <laughs> You're like we messed up. No, um, my favorite team. This is so sad, is because I reference like stuff because of TV. Um, but TBS would always show Braves games, so I ended up... Oh, you're an Atlanta Braves fan. Sort of was, but, like, you know, John Rocker made that tough to, like, the Braves. No offense to the guys on the, the team at the time, but John Rocker made it very tough. Uh, if you don't know who John Rocker is, you should search, 
Search them up because you're going to get some good footage and Follow stories. the Wikipedia life. <laughs> <laughs> we just link stuff uh, and we tweet it. And we should tweet John Rocker if he's on Twitter. Will you actually tweet? We're, twe we're fake tweeting right now, but we will tweet him. Um, so we're talking about sports. Uh, how is life going, Ryan? Well, sports is actually a good show because one of the people that will be doing a show is Josh Capel and the show ATF Sports, which is uh, sports. After the Fog. Uh, will be another show on smithy.tv about uh, sports in general. Like, there won't be any particular theme, although it is uh, just after week one of the NFL. So it's uh, so by the time you're watching this, week four. Yeah, about that. About you know. that. Uh, week three, week two, uh, go Jets. Uh, you know, go Dolphins. Uh, um, it's The thing about sports is, even though you have one team, I think it's cool that through maybe one game or one event a team can show you or a player can do something that you go like you know what like I remember watching Indianapolis uh, Colts play I think it was Green Bay and like final you, and that's fair um, but they they didn't win but like the ball like hit like the end zone but it touched right before he grabbed it but they worked so hard that it's just like out of respect you kind of went like I don't mind you guys and like so I always think it's cool that a team can can like win you over somehow I mean there's certain teams you'll never like you know like the Indianapolis Colts <laughs> and in your case, yes, you know, and like I remember as a kid, it was Dallas Cowboys in the NFL. Well, well, fair like, enough. You know, it just felt like I don't, and that's the thing is another reason why like you got the pro Yankees and non Yankee fans, but just like I don't, I'm not a fan of money buying stuff, uh, and like so that's why I was glad the Heat didn't win the first year in the NBA finals. Right. I, it took them a year to like maybe humble. You talked about when they when they came with the the three kings, so to speak. Yeah, the three kings, the King James, uh, the. Big with Bosch and with uh, and with um, it was interesting that, was like a, Bosch still had some good games like uh, but he just out of it, he was he was he was the lowest on the totem yeah and I think that was always kind of known yeah but it, it was what's the third guy's name sorry uh, Chris Bosch Dwayne Wade Dwayne Wade that's uh, right. who I like watching him Not like I've only seen him play man. live once but but just watching him on TV just like he's so crisp the way he shoots it but uh, it was cool to see them humble a bit so just like. The first season, all you could see was money, and I think that really pushed people away, that they were, were just rooting for Dallas Mavericks. Well, there's a lot of people who just, like any, like any, like any topic, people want to not like things. They want to hate. I've always said that every movie or show or song has a person that loves it or likes it, and a person who absolutely hates it, okay. and they're like, you just like, you tell someone, like, get the song, they like it, they may not, like, check out this movie, and then people go like, I didn't get it, I hated it. But There like, are people who who are so against the establishment in general they mm -hmm. don't like anything mainstream so it's like the suddenly suddenly you can have someone who's been an indie success and then they come out with these great huge you know 200 million dollar productions yeah. and they've gone they've gone they've gone mainstream and suddenly you know those who were following him all those years saying well he's you know he sold out well you know what he got to where he was trying to get in the first place which yeah he you know, like in, in any case of a filmmaker or a writer. Like even or, bands. I remember like bands, band in exactly. high school, someone like, I remember buying the Sugar Ray album, like their newer, like their newer, more like poppy sound and right. stuff. But I remember someone getting so angry they did that. And I go like, it was around the time I think I heard some of them were having kids. And I'm like, things change. There's so many scenarios that like you can't play for that. It's just like, you're like, sorry that they didn't mature, you know, like. Absolutely. But my, like, uh, my example is Bla uh, not Black Sabbath. I was going to say Metallica, for instance. They had all of these great albums when they started uh, with these long epic songs six seven eight minutes true like you know rock like metal and then the black album came out and suddenly you've got these three four minute pop hits yeah and they're still metal they're still hard rock but people got so angry at the change in style but you know what they evolved i mean music evolves you can't be you can't always tell the same story over and over again otherwise you're not interested and times change it's like, what made you like, two so great as they evolved after every one or two albums their sound changed. discotech but, remember that song i'm just saying it's there's there's plenty of examples out there uh, as to why you can love or hate something and uh yeah like i like everybody's different like there's just Always, yeah, you know, they'll always be a fan of something and a, and a hater, yeah. as the kids say. That's yeah. true. Um, speaking of music, uh, we've talked about Sugar Ray. Here's YouTube. the lull in the show. We're just sort of... We, we have officially have no writer for the show. <laughs> I don't think we ever will. Um, those guys... If you ever see us holding pieces of paper, they'll most likely be blank. Yeah, they're blank. It's us. And prop. or uh, a, a menu for dinner. I'm always I'm always hungry. Um, I I've been trying not to. Eat I look food. like I'm always hungry, but I'm not. <laughs> Tough crowd. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's a touchy subject for some people. I I've been lately. It's I can't do it, but I've been trying to like slowly 
push myself off of pizza. It's like, but it's like, it's like. But it's hard. A, it's a staple. It's like losing a best friend. You know. That's how I feel about chocolate. Chocolate. Yeah, no. There's times you crave it. Like, uh, I, I mean, everyone I has like that. Like one of those giant dairy built bars from the uh, from the airport from England. Oh, it's the best. I can eat like one of those. Do you do the the lighter or the dark chocolate? No, I got a light chocolate. Because the dark chocolate. chocolate's way too rich. I it's just, too bitter, and it's. I mean, like, like I, I like crayon. the sweetness of, of milk chocolate. Whereas, like for instance, my wife does not, and she likes dark chocolate or no chocolate. And anyone wondering, I am not married. I am single. Uh, he is married. So if you call know, this number when you want a date. Yeah. With, it, this guy here, uh, so groupies, you know, just plug in. We were supposed to plug stuff, so I'll plug that. That's a good plug. It, it's a great plug, you know. It's shameful, but now you know I'm shameful. Plug your Twitter account. Um, anyone likes Twitter? I do. www.twitter.com. I'm plugging Twitter, not my actual Twitter. No, at Lin- the Lindsay Lewis. Uh, it'll be there. Uh, I follow this guy. I follow this guy. And when I follow you, I would type in... I would be at TV Smithy. Which is funny because you've had that for a couple of years, so it's like, it seems, did you have this vision of this thing a few years ago? Well, I guess it's, it's been over a year for sure. Uh, I mean, initially it was, I still have also Logan Ryan 44, at Logan Ryan 44, and you'll see a nice picture of Steve McQueen smoking. I thought that, was that the, I thought it was Brian Adams. It's not Brian Adams. It's Does Steve the McQueen. picture look like Brian Adams? Cause not to me. It, was it looks like, like Steve like McQueen. It's like a black and blue background, and he, there's a guy standing there? He's not standing. He's a close-up shot, and he's got sunglasses. I thought that was Brian Adams, a uh, Canadian talent. Um, and star, and represented upstairs, or at least he was. Yeah, that's... that's. I wish it was Brian Adams. But yeah. They I, should unfollow your account for that. No, no. That, that one, not that, that one. Me. Well, I understand. Uh, so that one exists too, and uh, sometimes I even tweet from it. But most of the time, I'm tweeting from this one now. When, when tweeting, because uh, a lot of people they ask me or like they're going like, "Why do you have fun?" or like, "What?" Like, what is fun about Twitter? What's like, fun what? about Twitter? Why is it just like a laundry list of "Hey, I went walked to the mall today, I drank some milk." Like, what? Well, is what's it? so interesting about shit girls say, for instance, when they've got one and a half million viewers more than that, mm-hmm. and all they do is put out lines of things that they think girls say. Yeah. You know, uh, and I mean, it's funny. People follow Twitter because they need an outlet of news, or they need an outlet of just of just interesting. And that's really what it is. It's about being interesting. You know, and say you're being not relevant. Interested. Like I, I don't uh, fancy myself the most interesting person, but I try to I try to make it fun by just doing the like throwing once in a while a nice thing, but just making the most random things and making making it fun or making saying you can have fun with this. It doesn't have to be, you know, I think that's what it's about. But also you can connect with people, which is cool, you know, like yeah, that's true. I've had people seeing my videos or other stuff and you just like, I mean, me. for the longest time, I think it was how we had conversations outside of yeah. our office. We, yeah, we, we until so today, we haven't <laughs> talked for four years <laughs> about that. No, we've only typed at each other. Like, yeah, it felt like four years. Um, Full conversations, though. But just like, it's very interesting. How's your mother doing? Uh, Send. She's not on Twitter, but I... That's why I'm sending it to you. Good. Send. Um, But no, it's... uh, And you're going to get comedy gold like this on this website. uh, Or even funnier. You know, if this is... Probably funnier. If this is is the bar... (laughs) We're here. Everything else is up here. Yeah, this is just a sample, a taste, you know? It'd be worse if we're here. Yeah, if we're up here... We're we're here. If people are, like, trying to... If the shows are here, then... uh, We've... We've done. We've hit... It's a unique way of comedy. Um, no, but uh, back to Twitter, it's very interesting just how some people love it, you know, and other people, you know, there's periods of time they lo- like, what, what is it about you that, like, for you, for Twitter, what do you like? I like the connections. I like, I like seeing, I mean, like catching up with, with friends of mine, but in some ways, more than Facebook, for instance, Twitter is a means of being relevant about what you're doing now. It's like, you're not going to say... Well, I'm sitting at home picking my nose and yeah. watching TV. That's what Facebook is for, and then you've you know you've you, that's what your status update is. But with Twitter, you would say, uh, you know, I'm at the premiere of so and so, and, and, you and then like, you're plugging. You know, not only are you plugging yourself, you're plugging the people that you're fans with and of, and I mean it's a it's a big deal, and 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 I think that it's a really interesting. Uh, means of business as well, like about promoting. Oh, it's great. I mean, when people get paid to do tweets, I think that's pretty spectacular. It, that's like, if you can get we to that level. We do not, but yeah. we're willing to. We pay for tweets? No, <laughs> maybe. 
Um, but yeah, it was, it's really like I saw one of the Tiff movies I saw. Actually, the one I saw was a Midnight Madness movie, and they they were asking like the director, uh, not director, he was the producer and star of it, Eli Roth. He was, mm-hmm. and he was just saying, if you guys like it. Like get out there and just market. Like this is the theaters are watching it and they they're, they're looking to see if we're gonna do a limited release or why. So just like it's interesting interesting to see that this is like uh, like a- Twitter helps fans promote and you know it's like for instance like I I might only have a hundred and something fans or whatever you might have a hundred and something fans <laughs> together we have two hundred and something yeah. fans although a lot of them might be shared. So the thing is. <laughs> We share with that, but if it's a, if whatever I'm sharing is of relevance to the people that I'm following, maybe they have three or four hundred fans or more. Yes. And suddenly they retweet because they're a part of what I'm tweeting, or uh, or just you know they find it interesting, then they tweet it, and then suddenly it just it spreads like wildfire. And it's not it's not like the old saying when you tell two friends and they tell two friends and they tell two friends. This is the case of telling, you tell 100 friends, they tell 100 friends, yeah. and they tell 100 friends, and it's magnified so much, it, Yeah, and and it spreads, and if it's interesting, then it's worth it. If it's not, then you move on. Because, like, a couple years ago, like, like around when YouTube was, like, kind of in, it, not in the golden age or whatever you want to say, but, like... You could get a couple of views, but with Twitter, it's cool to see yeah. that someone in, like, Texas or, like, you know, uh, like, like Cuba, like, not Cuba, they don't really have internet there. Uh, they can't use it. You can't say they don't have internet. No, I went there a few years ago, and they they actually like there's a there's a band like they there's certain stuff they can't. Do. I'm sure Castro has internet. It's certain people in Cuba, <laughs> and this is the part where I truly hope it gets edited out, and I can just have a, just staying in live and. Uh, it's a big mistake. It is not against the people of Cuba. That's all he's saying. It, I, I've been there once. I did a bit. It was. Uh, I did a bit. No, I did there. I'm sure I'll, I'll plug it right there. I'm going to plug it right now. That's how I segue no matter what. On but, YouTube at? Uh, the I have two channels, and I'm going to... One of them is the Lindsay Lewis after, like, slash the Lindsay Lewis. The other one's... I don't remember it at the moment. It's not Lewis at large? Uh, no, that one was taken. Thank you, person. And like, then I typed the page and it wasn't there. So someone clearly typed it at one point and then they're like, not going to use it. So they're like, sorry. But uh, no, the cool thing about Twitter or like just like stuff with the internet is being able to like, to reach out to people that you would in no, like right, probably knowing or like, you yeah. know, it's a really cool thing, you know, you can, yeah. And just like, and it's a good way for fan support some random shows and like, if Absolutely. we ever got fans here, you know. And that's how we're going to be pr- promoting Smithy.tv. Yeah, is, and uh, and Lewis at Large and Cast This and the Mind Reels and all the other shows here at Smithy TV. So it's yeah, it's exciting like internet stuff and Twitter and like I'm sure we might occasionally throw a bone to Twitter or sorry Facebook. Yeah, well, why not? I mean, we use everything. It's it's the world of sharing and social media is is a key. It, oh, it's, uh, it's and you can find us at www.facebook.com slash. <laughs> It's there. It's, it's there. I, I think, or it's Malcolm. Probably Smithy TV. Yeah, maybe. I, I think so. Uh, there's, I, I don't there know. is a page online right now that you there can is, like, and, and you can and, and you like. can see pictures and and like. That's another thing. You want to like these shows. Oh yeah, and also I, I don't I don't mean in the sense that you have to actually appreciate the shows. Just like it on Facebook. Yeah, like it, and that's that's yeah. yeah move on. Just go on about your business. And occasionally there's links there, and even if you don't watch it, just hit like hit the video so we get some views. That's yeah. right. Uh, but yeah, no, it's it's cool. Just. Like not only can you you can talk to a friend you haven't talked to in years you can and tell them to watch this w- stuff yeah. on this website uh, yeah but the the great thing about internet and all that is is you can reach out to that person you know and that's that's really cool and that's something like you know ten years ago when was YouTube when was the year was it I I'm not uh, like a source of history I might be older than you but I'm not like old as time yeah. <laughs> You know, there's only a few grays here, man. <laughs> um, how many, how many gray hairs do you notice? Tell us what you think. If you can count how many gray hairs, free t-shirt. Free... Do we have sure? Cause... Do we have t-shirts? Because I, I would love a shirt. I'll give you this shirt. I will give you the shirt off my back. So uh, going forward with this website, let's. What is a goal you have? And then I will say a goal that I have. Okay. Well, a goal I have is. It can be anything. Well, a year from now, I wanted to have you know, you know, a lot more viewers, a lot more, a lot more shows, uh, great content, and uh, and be out there, and obviously, you know, like people watching it. Uh, but it's a personal thing. I I I, I just 
uh, it's a it's a personal love that I just you know I wanted to succeed. And mm-hmm. so let's say let's say a year from now, uh, but you know, so the end of next year's film festival, I want Smithy TV to be a part of the film festival. Uh, but like as that, hopefully it'll be in the festival. In the festival as a means of of being like uh, you know respected uh, peers amongst the. Um, paparazzi, so to speak, and I don't mean that they need to be taking photographs, but you know, like, you know, set up interviews and mm-hmm. stuff like that, because you know, it's 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 great content, and uh, we definitely know people who have movies in them. Oh yeah, like it's it's like guy uh, there was like like Picture Day and like a, another fellow, you know, Umpo Kwa. That's right. He, he was in a, short his film. short film Canoe Jacked, which I've heard is very very funny, very funny, very film. funny. Him and Al Sapienza. I always and I think the third actor. I always thought it was I always thought that was his last name. What Espiz? What? Uh, I always thought it was Al Spazina. I never it's actually like said it aloud. I just Sapienza. Sapienza. Famous for being on on uh, Sopranos. The Sopranos. That's right. Uh, and you're saying Pat Thornton? Yeah, Pat Thornton is the third guy, and he's he he does a. He's pretty funny. He's in a. I think he's in a comedy troupe. He uh once he, I think it's once a year about, but he does a 24 hours of comedy where it's for charity. Right. I don't know the exact charity he does, but like check it online. It was a. Uh, but it's a it's a, such a unique thing to uh, and that's another thing is with stuff like Twitter and like Facebook you could do live stuff and have like getting funds but also you can watch it live from like Seattle when you're not even in Toronto you know so that's again back yeah. to like uh, but my goal would maybe be uh, maybe interview Matthew Perry from the film Three to Tango and from the new TV show Go On. See that's the hard thing is he went from Studio Sixty. I love that show. I think you enjoyed it too. I do. Um, then he did. Was it Mr. Sunshine? Mr. Mr. Sunshine. Yeah. And then I like I, I, I was starting to watch it, and then he got canceled. And so like my heart just can't take it anymore. You know. So I don't know like if I can invest in. You know this. what? He's a sitcom darling, and he'll always find himself you know on his feet with a new show because he's really funny. He's probably one of the funniest people in Hollywood, even as a Canadian. And yeah. and you know as what? a person, he's funny. as a person. Uh, and uh, I mean, my, the only sort of frame of reference in some ways I have outside of film and television is uh, my brother-in-law was in a foursome of golf with <laughs> golf, uh, and was playing with. Um, I love my memory. <laughs> Eugene Levy was in his foursome. Oh, so this was just, like this wasn't a movie. This was real. This life. is not a movie. My brother-in-law is is a producer, but. But he was in a foursome for golf uh, with, with Eugene, Eugene Levy. Eugene Levy, Matthew Perry. No, Matt, not Matthew Perry. They were oh. just in a foursome. But Eugene Levy was, ma- uh, you know, and this is all, you know, hearsay because it's from a source. Not yeah. I don't. I did not hear it straight from Eugene Levy's mouth. Mm-hmm. But apparently, he was saying how funny he thinks Matthew Perry yeah. is. Which is pretty high praise coming from one of the funniest people on the planet, he's, being Eugene yeah, Levy. Uh, Eugene Levy, so he cool. is like his timing is just like he just does these little things that's like. Ah, he's just funny. Exactly. And like, yeah. like so people I, I have, TV I have other, like like American Pie high, stuff. high, high respect and huge, huge props for, for Eugene Levy. And when he says something like that, if it's true, of Matthew Perry, then you can only, you know, have, you know, you can only get That's, better from there. Yeah, uh, but no, yeah, Three to Tango is one of those movies I always promote for no reason. I get no money from it, but it's just like it's just it's one of your favorite movies. I mean, it is. It's like, but it was like it was shot in Toronto, even though it says Chicago. Um, but it's just like uh, it's got Nev Campbell, uh, Oliver Platt, Dylan McDermott, who's actually like he's just such a like a bad guy in it, but like he's he does that so well. But it's like it's just such a, such a touching movie, and like the score is good. It's just like it's it's cool. I think I remember like seeing, hey, that one person I met, and be like, like they've done huge stuff, and be like you were great in Three to Tango. They're like they're like I was in it for three minutes. You're like still you were you were in Three to Tango. But yeah, no, it's like I like the idea of like potentially getting to talk to people you look up to, whether it be musicians or TV stars. So that I guess maybe that's a goal, you know. Well, and, and I, at I some don't point see have the... a picture of Freddie Prince Jr. Uh, a still from She's All That, and it Batman. will be covering this fine piece of. Um, Hardware right here. Um, yeah, she's all that poster in the back is my uh, second goal, and or and or yeah, we'll negotiate that. I don't think that's coming. What about Ernest from Ernest P. World? What about oh those? yeah, yeah. Those are those were stuff I looked up. Corona. Ernest goes to jail. Ernest, you're shaking his head no. Uh, but does no mean yes sometimes? Call us in. I don't know the number. Um, is there anything you'd like to talk about? No, I think this is a great place to wrap. Actually, uh, so we've had a good show. I think uh, I think that we we don't want to you know you know blow our wad here on the first episode. Yeah, I, of I, this show. Yeah, those guys. <laughs> Temporary working title. It could say something different there. It could say I love Matthew Perry. It could say New York Jets. Uh, 
when this show this show welcome to this show <laughs> this show with those guys this show with those guys in that city up in Toronto. that city uh ryan well, we don't have to specify Lindsay. the internet those guys from the internet those guys from the internet those guys on tv uh well i guess all that's left to say is um have a nice weekend it, or whenever you're watching this, it could be Tuesday tomorrow. So it, have a nice drive. Be safe on the roads. When, whenever you're watching this, remember, or listening to this, listening to this, I, I'd be watching. That's that's yeah, I know. But I mean, maybe you've downloaded it and you're you know you've got it on in your car and you've been listening to these people ramble for an hour. Always do it with I had I didn't know what I was going to say there with joy, with love in your heart and your eyes and your ears. <coughs> That's I like to send off with you know somewhat. We'll have a better we'll have a better send off. Uh, I'm Ryan Goldhart. I'm Lindsay Lewis. I might just have been replaced because of what I just said. So if this is the last time I'm seen, I was murdered by Ryan Goldhart. Call my mom. I would never do it myself. Someone else would, but mom, I I love you. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> In today's world, people are busy and impatient. We are on information overload. Every minute counts. People want to know what you can do for them. They won't spend time reading or searching, but they will watch a video. If it clearly explains who you are and what you do and tells them what they want to hear, they will reach out to you. You have seconds to get people's attention. You want a video that is engaging and makes the viewer feel as though it is speaking directly to their needs. Add to your sales team a short video and let it do the heavy selling for you or add to your social media or wherever your audience is spending their time. Videos can pay back your investment 10 times over. So now that you've heard our message, let's talk about yours. Let's bring your image to life.